This good looking knife is a Sig Tac Foxtrot X Ray 3 Papa Golf FX 3 PG model in plain edge. This is a folding tactical knife. Nice knife, actually. I didn't think it would be as nice as it was when I saw it, and and uh, upon examining it, I was pretty impressed with the feel and the balance of this knife. This is a preliminary view of this knife. I don't own it, therefore some of my takes on the knife might be a little bit off because I don't have a lot of experience with it. First off, let's talk about that blade. The blade is in N690 steel. That's a decent steel. Uh, getting a better reputation. I don't have a lot of experience with it. However, I know a lot of users are uh, speaking highly of it. So I think it's a decent steal for the money and it's getting a, more of a reputation as time goes on. That's a funky blade shape, by the way. Now, some of y'all might like that with the, the upper belly here and then a pronounced belly towards the tip, and I understand that. Um, I prefer more of a conventional blade shape myself just for sharpening purposes and I also look at the application of the blade. How am I going to use the blade? In a folding tactical knife, yes, it's for defensive purposes, but also, and most, most likely, you'll be using it in utility purposes, and I kind of like that flat bottom portion of the blade for chopping, cutting, whatever I'm doing. That being said, the nice thing about all the curvature in this blade here is you'll get cut acceleration. So as I move through my material, since that edge is being introduced to the material at an angle, you're actually going to get better cutting action. And that's a benefit of the curvature of the blade. So if we're talking about a slash cut, this is actually a fairly wicked blade. Also, it has a chisel point on it, which is nice. So it penetrates well, and uh, at least I would think it would penetrate well uh, looking at it. Kind of a funky upper spine, again, for sculpting three-quarter grind going on down I would think and again I don't have my spec sheet on this knife but I would think that that is a flat grind going to the edge there so pretty wicked actually nice matte finish on that blade really well executed it's smooth it looks durable looks like parkerization actually so on this sig tac blade it's uh, very attractive how's the lockup side to side up and down actually no movement whatsoever it locks up very tight deployment speed again this is a new knife I haven't adjusted it nor will I it's not my knife deployment speed is average not super fast I'm not so sure that it has bushings in it I'm trying to look down in there and I don't see phosphor bushings in it I could be off on that though but with a little bit of wrist action lubing up and some adjustment. I'm sure the speed would increase. The handle is nicely sculpted. G10 over thin steel liners it appears to me. Non-skeletonized steel liners and you could skeletonize them yourself with a drill out process kind of like I showed you with my Ontario Rat Model 1 knife and you could save a half an ounce off this knife easily and not lose any strength. Big fat old looks like G10 scales on this that's what I would think. Nicely checkered. Man it's nice to see this this is actually the, one of the first knives I've seen where the checkering on the G10 is awesome. It really grasps your hand really well, providing a good purchase, and it's just excellent. It's got vertical sculpting here that uh, is both aesthetic and, and intentional to give you even a better grip. Love it. Jimping on the spine is just cosmetic only. It doesn't really dig in. Somewhat of a finger choil here. Not too bad, so it's easily grasped. And would it be enough if I did a plunge cut on this or a thrust? Uh, probably, especially with that nice fat handle. And yes, it is kind of fat. The clip is mounted on the pivot point, as you can see. Looks kind of skimpy to me, the clip. It doesn't seem super strong to me. And it also has that goofy uh, sticking out portion. I would like to see the clip better executed. To me, that's uh, a swap meet style clip not too impressed with that and we can't move it around I guess we can move it to this side but we can't move it for tip up configuration which is a bummer pillar construction I like pillar construction lets all our gunk flow through the handle so it doesn't get all mucked up you can take the knife apart with its Torx screws how about the weight on the knife uh, it's not super light 5.6 ounces on this knife and the blade length on this on this SIG uh, model is three and a half inches. 
That's what I measured it at. So it's kind of a small blade for that weight, if you ask me. And it might be a function of those thick scales. Those are really thick for what they are. It's got that proprietary SIG screw to adjust your pivot point, kind of like on the SIG TAC model that I also reviewed. Um, I don't like that. I like to see a regular Torx fastener there. I think what they're going after is a reference to their guns. It's kind of a crosshair symbol on the pivot screw. I get it. Nevertheless, I would still like to see a Torx or a hex screw on there. Double thumb studs, that's pretty standard. So overall, my impression of this knife is good. It's not excellent. Um, I probably wouldn't buy it because uh, it's too heavy for me for the size of blade I'm getting. However, it does have some some really nice points to it, and that are the and that is the G10 scales that are so nicely checkered. Man, I wish more manufacturers, Benchmade included, would do that. Skaggs Police Supply, who's hosting me on this video, thank you again, is selling a knife for 105, and I find that their prices are pretty reasonable actually. You could probably beat them if you search around. However, I do like to support Skaggs too because they have a great. Um, walk-in store that has an amazing selection and it's hard to find that so we need to support those people too so that's review initial review of the SIG model FX3 Papa Golf Knife decent blade I like that color too thanks for tuning in